Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So determine if this series will converge or if it will diverge. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so the first thing to, to, to do is to check that um, that's the limit. Check that the limit of this heads towards zero. So, so as n moves from 2 to infinity, make sure this whole thing here heads towards zero. So as n moves from 2 to infinity, this thing is just going to get bigger and bigger. This thing here is just going to get bigger and bigger. So, so combining the two, the denominator, will just keep on getting bigger and bigger as n moves from 2 to infinity. So, uh, so 1 divided by something that keeps on getting bigger and bigger, eventually this whole thing here will head towards zero. So, so now we know that the limit equals, the limit of this equals zero. So this is good. But just bear in mind that, um, well, if the limit is, let's say, seven, then we will immediately know that this thing here will diverge immediately. But, um, but remember, uh, remember one, uh, summation, one over n, n equals, let's say, two to infinity. The, li the limit of this is zero, but the series itself still diverges. So just be careful. The, 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 the whole point of this test here is, um, is that if, if, if the limit is, let's say, 5, then we can immediately know that this is going to diverge. But because it's 0, we've got to, we, 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 we need to, um, to perform these, these uh, tests now. So, the next, so, so this is good. Now, um, now we want to apply that theorem that says that if we compare this with this, it, we, we, we want to apply that theorem where it says that if, uh, if this thing uh, diverge, then this will also diverge. If this thing here will com will, if this thing here converge, then this thing here will converge. We want to use that, that theorem. But in order for us to use that theorem, we need to, um, to check these three first. So, is this thing, uh, sorry, is, uh, is this thing continuous, uh, from two to, to infinity? Well, this thing here, well, wh when would this break down? You could ask yourself, when would this break down? This thing here will break down when the denominator equals zero. That's when it breaks down. So, so when would the denominator break down? Well, uh, well, this thing here looks dodgy. Natural log here, uh, one, two. You see, the denominator breaks down when x equals one. But, but here, we, we are starting at two. So everything's okay. This here would be positive, positive, positive. This thing here would be positive. The, the, the thing is, this thing here will be continuous. Nothing breaks down. And, uh, it, it, the next thing is, is it going to be positive all the time from 2 to infinity? And the answer is yes, this thing's going to be positive. This thing's going to be positive. So this is good. Is it going to decrease all the time? Um, the, the, the answer is yes, because this thing here is just going to get bigger and bigger. This thing here is going to get bigger and bigger. When you have one divided by something that keeps on growing, then, then overall, the whole thing will just get smaller and smaller and smaller. So, so this, so it will be continuous, it will be positive, and, uh, it will always be decreasing. So now, now because these three have been satisfied, we can apply that theorem where, where if, if this diverge, then this will diverge. If this converge, then this will converge. So now it's just a matter of boiling down to us determining whether or not this thing Will, uh, will diverge, or, the, or if this thing here will converge. So let's let's integrate this from two to um, to infinity. If this thing here diverge, then this will diverge. If this thing here converge, then this thing here will converge. So now we need to, um, to to decide whether or not this thing will converge or if it will diverge. So integrate it from two to uh, to infinity. When you when when you integrate this, you could use substitution, but but train yourself to. Um, to, to do it by, by having a quick glance. So if you, if you look at this here, you could use substitution, but, but learn to do it this way. So visualize this as being one thing, one bubble, and then multiplying with, uh, with another bubble here, uh, with another, uh, hang on, let me think. Uh, vi yeah, vi visualize it like this. Um, so, so, so this thing here is exactly the same as, is exactly the same as this thing here. So, so if, if you look at this, this is exactly the, this is the exact derivative of this. So if I were to give you something like this, if I were to give you, let's say, natural law of something, if I were to ask you to, to differentiate this, you, you would, you would say it's going to be one over the bubble, it's going to be one over the bubble, and then you times the derivative of the bubble itself. But then if, if you look back over here, um, 
you see, if, if you put if you put natural law into here, if you differentiate that, the, the bubble here, what's inside the bubble is a natural law. And if, if you differentiate the bubble, it will be 1 over uh, over x. So now now you can see now you can see that this thing is exactly the same as this. This thing here is exactly the same as this. You could use substitution, but learn to learn to glance at this. So so you know that if you if you differentiate this, it will give you this thing here. It will give you this thing here. So well in into well just just note just note that um, vi try and visualize it like this. One over x as a bubble, and then you times uh, one over natural log of x here. So, uh, so this is the exact derivative of this. So, well, um, use whichever method you want. If you integrate this, it will then give you this. So now, if you put a very, very, very big number into here, this whole thing here is just going to be very well. Natural log of x. If you put a very, very big number into here, this thing here is going to be very, very big. And then your natural log of something very, very big is going to be very, very big. So now, um, now put 2 into here. Uh, natural log of 2 is going to be a finite number. It's going to be a number. So if this thing here is going to be a number, when your natural log of that, that number is going to be, the whole thing is going to be a number. Well, th this is going to be a number. This is just going to get bigger and bigger. So overall combining the two, you know it's going to be infinity. So this thing here, Will will uh, will diverge. So going back to the comparison, um, we now know that this thing is going to diverge. So therefore, uh, the series itself will diverge. Okay.